up when I get into heaven, got hand me a blunt and it's some runs. Be on some communist shit, so these niggas that stuck. When I asked for a cut, took off number 10 bands off of my first honey. Getting legacy drunk and learning legally just all right. See the game that this come with. Welcome back to the channel. We just got some pickups from Greenlight Dispensary. Just did a little road trip from Missouri. And I went to Illinois, couple couple dispensaries. Uh, I never had weed from Missouri. Uh, I got a couple things. I got almost, I got about an ounce. You wanna see, you know, it's funny. I never thought that they would give us these type of bags for our carrying bags, but they put everything in here. Some of the stuff that's in here isn't even from uh, Green this dispensary, but this is what I got. This is from Missouri. Only got, I got this, I got some. This is Kim Driver. Uh, this was about, I paid $32.50 uh, and I got some, just a cheap eight. Like I was on a, on kind of a budget. So I got motor breath and this was only 25. After tax, it was like $30. I already smoked some of this. This is the only thing I've already smoked. It's a $30 eight. It gets you high. You know, they got the little branding, green light. I don't know if you've ever been to green light dispensary. I know they're probably, in many states, but I was near the one in Missouri. Nah, this shit smells crazy. I don't know if you can see what it looked like, but that's a little, little bit. What is? Yeah, that's cool. Got a little. It opens up like this. But yeah, I mean, for thirty-two dollars, I've had dryer weed. It doesn't feel as dry. It's, you know, that's what it looked like. You know, for, oh shit. Uh, I mean, for thirty-two fifty, you know, it smells good though. It's real loud. But yeah, they really got cool packaging, like green light, whatever they do, they're the only, cause I know down south of Missouri and Illinois or whatever, it's only a couple couple of known brands, given how their laws, I, I'm not too sure on Missouri laws, but I know for sure Illinois laws, it's only a couple brands that even sell, like it's always, no matter where you go in Illinois, it's the same company. Next I got, I got this from Troy, Illinois. I got some zebra cake. It was like the only 14 grams you could buy. Like, it's not really a lot of variety out there. It was only 14 grams. Uh, I think I paid about 135 for this. But it looked good. Like, the nugs look real frosty. I haven't even opened it yet. So we finna open this up. They even have a seal. Now, off rip. Another thing, like a big complaint. This shit is so dry. This shit is super dry. It looks, it looks pretty decent. Like, the nugs looks decent, right? But it is so dry. You might have to hit it with a humidity pack or something. Hope this smokes good. You know, it has... A, I think the, it has a little cool little, you know, if it's sativa, it tells you all the terpenes in it, uh, the strands properties. That's that's pretty cool. I picked that up from Troy, and I got one more. Uh, I got from Sunnyside. Now, I know a lot of y'all been to Sunnyside in South Beloit, Illinois. That's probably a popular dispensary because it's right on the border from uh, Wisconsin and Illinois. It's like right there, like five minutes, boom. You're already in Wisconsin border, but I got some blockberry. The blockberry don't even, the blockberry looks, it probably the best looking weed, but I'm always recording something that's falling. It's probably the best looking weed though. Once again, one of the biggest problems, and it's, it, I don't know if it's like this everywhere in Illinois or just with certain strands, but a lot of their weed tends to be dry. Like a lot of their weed always tends to be dry for some reason, so. And that's really what I kind of wanted to talk about throughout. This is just a couple pickups I got, you know, Simply Herb. Pretty sure if you're in Illinois, you know this brand. This is always like one of the common Illinois brands. Of course, if you're in Missouri, you know what green, green light is, but I really just wanted to touch on like how most of this Illinois and Missouri weed, as far as their uh, laws and the culture out there with it, it's really like not worth it. Like you probably heard like the prices, everyone knows the prices on this is jack. Like the taxes are crazy in Illinois. I've seen $60 half gram carts without tax. So with tax, it'll end up being like $80, $90. You'll get a full gram cart and it'll end up being like 115. A live resin cart is like 120. It's ridiculous with tax. Without tax, it'd be fine. But you know, you can end up getting two, just two, two grams worth of cartridges and you'll end up spending like $250, which is crazy. And even, you know, I know they offer medical and I'm not, I'm not a resident of either of those states. So, I can't really speak on how that, you know, the medical uh, side, but I do know that medical in Illinois, you get 1% tax. That's a good, that's pretty good. But outside of that, it's pretty much the same. You get the same menu, you get the same, same product, same few brands. And I know, I heard the problem was, damn, what was the damn problem? Oh yeah, yeah, the problem was that the licenses they give out is so expensive and hard to get that only a couple brands that could afford it 
bought all the licenses up and now they're just forced there's really not much competition as far as variety with certain products thus giving you a poor selection and they can do whatever they want to the market because they have no competition and plus they have to deal with regulations within their state laws the federal all that because every state is different like states like michigan that's why a lot of people in illinois who uh live kind of close to michigan they just drive to make the drive to michigan hit their dispensary up the competition as far as prices is like day and night the michigan prices are way better than missouri illinois it blows it it's like it blows out the water honestly yeah be mindful i really just did this you know I, it was really just because i was in the area road trip so i mean you can find decent cannabis understand all this is gonna get you high but is it gonna is it really worth the money i don't think it's worth the money i feel like how michigan is doing their prices and a lot of what people doing with their medical prices i think that should be what the regular prices are anyway because as far as quality goes most of it you can tell is garbage that's if you really smoke a lot if you really smoke if you want to just get high though you, you you'll be satisfied all this is going to get you high everything you see in here that i've shown everything i got from green, green light and all these dispensaries in Illinois, it's gonna get me high. I know that, I understand, but not necessarily the best quality. And even the best quality in this area, I understand that it's not gonna be as good as Cali or the other recreational states. It is what it is. And I wouldn't be caught dead buying edibles and stuff in there. Like they had, they only sell, they sell a, a hundred milligram edibles, $25. And that's on the cheaper end when there's a sale. That's the lowest you can get with tax $25 for 100 milligrams is crazy where you can go you know I've seen places where they have 500 milligrams you know $10 like it's just really crazy and it's I, I don't know if the market will get better I don't know if it's I don't know I think mid, the people who have the people who have the best Midwest weed I think Michigan has way better weed culture and prices and taxes just way better weed in general than Illinois Illinois is definitely one of the worst recreational states definitely or just weed states honestly they better they, they better than a lot of these states down south though down south they don't have anything so yeah this is just a quick quick haul saving up soon so hopefully I don't have to keep dealing with these Illinois and Missouri states uh trying to move out west so if you enjoyed the video appreciate you watching thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video like the video share it subscribe comment let me know what you're smoking on if you're not smoking if you're on a tolerance break whatever it is um I just hope y'all having a good day I gotta get better at these outros I'm gonna probably keep that in <laughs> all right I gotta see who we finna smoke on though